Rachel Willie, 200 Tomlinson Mill Road. My daughter is a second grader at MES. We moved to Marlton when she started first grade. The lack of free full day kindergarten was one of the main factors that kept us from moving here sooner. I grew up in Mount Laurel and my spouse grew up in Tabernacle. I was one of nine children and he was one of five. Both households were able to raise their families with a single income and allowed one parent to stay home. Now we are a dual income household raising one child and having to make difficult financial choices about whether we can afford to live in the same area that our parents raised large families on a single income. Although my child is past kindergarten and this won't affect us, step back. I saw so many young families the other night at Savage Fields Trunk or Treat. I was amazed by them as they came out fully decked out, mostly in bluey. Well done. Some holding babies as young as five weeks old. I saw many parents with twins, quite a few who will be going into our kindergarten classes in the next year or so. The cost for those families to pay for kindergarten will be an immense burden. On top of the ever increasing financial challenges of feeding, clothing, and providing a home for their children. Marlton is a special place. It's a community, and that's why I moved here. Our community is responsible for 97% of our school's funding. We may not like it, but that's the way it is. I believe that we have a responsibility to our young families. We need to come together and help in whatever small ways we can. Voting yes on this year's ballot questions is how we help. It is how we let our community know that we are in this together. We see how hard it is, and we care. Thank you. Thank you.